Donald Trump presidential campaign 2016 The 2016 presidential campaign of Donald Trump, an American businessman, politician, television personality, and author, began on June 16, 2015. Trump is the nominee of the Republican Party for President of the United States in 2016, having won the most state primaries, caucuses, and delegates to the 2016 Republican National Convention. 3. Trump chose Indiana Governor Mike Pence as his vice presidential running mate. Trump's populist for five positions in opposition to illegal immigration and various free trade agreements, six, seven, eight, nine, have earned him support especially among blue-collar voters and voters without college degrees, 10, 11. Many of his remarks have been controversial and have helped his campaign garner extensive coverage by the mainstream media. Trending Topics and Social Media 12, 13, Trump's disdain for what he considers to be political correctness has been a stable theme of his campaign. 14, mainstream commentators and some prominent Republicans have viewed him as appealing explicitly to racism. 15. Trump's most polarizing and widely reported statements have been about issues of immigration and border security, especially his proposed deportation of all illegal immigrants the proposed construction of a substantial wall on the Mexico-United States border at Mexican expense. His characterizations of many illegal immigrants traveling over the Mexican border into the U.S. as criminals, drug dealers, rapists, etc. 16, 17, 18, 19, and a temporary ban on foreign Muslims entering the U.S., which he later modified to apply to people originating from countries with a history of terrorism against the United States or its allies. 20, 21, Trump's campaign rallies have attracted large crowds, as well as public controversy. A number of protesters have been asked to leave, removed by security, or arrested for trespassing at Trump's campaign events. Some of the events have been marked by incidents of violence between Trump supporters and protesters, mistreatment of some journalists, attempts to assassinate Trump, 22, and disruption by a large group of protesters who effectively shut down a major rally in Chicago. Trump said he himself wished to punch protesters, and has defended their ejection from his events, but has also said he hopes that he has not encouraged physical force to subdue or remove protesters 23, 24, 25. During the campaign Trump has made statements questioning the broad protection currently afforded to journalists against legal accusations of libel 26 to 27 since the 1988 presidential election. Trump has been considered a potential candidate for president in nearly every election, 28, 29, 30, in October 1999.
Trump declared himself a potential candidate for the Reform Party's presidential nomination, 31, but withdrew on February 14, 2032. In 2004, Trump said that he identified as a Democrat. 33. Trump rejoined the Republican Party in 2009. In early 2011, presidential speculation reached its highest point and Trump began to take a lead in polls among Republican candidates in the 2012 election. At the 2011 Conservative Political Action Conference, Trump said he is pro-life and against gun control. 34, 35, 36. He also spoke before Tea Party supporters. 37, 38, 39. Early polls had Trump among the leading candidates. 40, 41. 42-43. In December 2011, Trump placed sixth in the 10 most admired men and women living of 2011. USA Today Gallup Telephone Survey 44. However, Trump announced in May 2011 that he would not be a candidate for the office, 45-46. In 2013, Trump researched a possible run for President of the United States in 2016, 47. In October 2013, New York Republicans suggested Trump should run for governor of the state in 2014, 48. In February 2015, Trump did not renew his television contract for The Apprentice, which raised speculation of his candidacy for President of the United States in 2016. 49. Later that year, Trump was a featured speaker at the Conservative Political Action Conference. 50. Trump formally announced his candidacy on June 16, 2015, with a campaign rally and speech at Trump Tower in New York City. In his speech, Trump drew attention to domestic issues such as illegal immigration, offshoring of American jobs, the U.S., national debt and Islamic terrorism. The campaign slogan will be, Make America Great Again, 56. Trump declared that he would self-fund his presidential campaign and would refuse any money from donors and lobbyists. 57. Following the announcement, most of the media's attention focused on Trump's comment on illegal immigration. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with them. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. 58, 59. Trump's statement was controversial and led several businesses and organizations, including NBC. Macy's, Univision, and NASCAR to cut ties with Trump. 75 reactions from other presidential candidates were mixed, with some Republican candidates disagreeing with the tone of Trump's remarks yet supporting the core idea that illegal immigration is an important campaign issue, while other Republican candidates 
along with the leading Democratic candidates, condemning Trump's remarks and his policy stances as offensive or inflammatory. 81. After the public backlash, Trump stood by his comments, citing news articles to back his claims. Trump clarified that he intended his comments to be aimed solely at the government of Mexico, specifically for using the insecure border as a means of transferring criminals into the United States and said he did not intend his comments to refer to immigrants themselves. 85. Early campaign from traveled to several states including Iowa and New Hampshire to campaign ahead of the 2016 Republican primaries 89 by early July 2015 Trump was campaigning in the West giving rallies and speeches in Las Vegas and Los Angeles 90. 91. On July 23, he visited the Mexican